Hello friends, I'm Tom Downey for Chat Sports, and as promised, we are doing the on-demand XFL draft results. We've got the offensive skill players, the defensive line, the linebackers, and as of filming, the offensive line has not actually begun. I'm sure they'll begin that at some point soon, but it's getting late. We want to get the info what we have to you guys here as soon as possible. If you want more XFL coverage in the future from us here at Chat Sports, Show us by liking today's video. This is not my call. This is my boss's call. And if they see the likes, they see the views, then they'll probably do more XFL coverage because we want to give you guys what you want in the end. So show us you want it by liking the video right now. We have a lot of picks to get into. It's what, over 250, somewhere in that range of picks to get through. So we'll go a little bit quicker. I won't mention every single player on this list. Abram Smith, the number one overall pick. No quarterbacks because that more in depth in a later. The running back of Baylor. Probably heard of Marcel Aitman, maybe Charleston Rambo as well. The receivers, uh, Battlehawks and Orlando Guardians there. Martavis Bryant, one of the bigger names. He's going to the Las Vegas Vipers. And congrats to Sal Canella, the Dal or the Arlington Renegades, the logo gets me every time. They used to be the Dallas Renegades. He's going to Arlington, the first tight end off the board. John Lovett, you see there, to the Vipers as well. Not the Dolphins' John Lovett. That might be some confusion there, understandably so. That is actually the former Baylor-Penn State running back. Andrew, Andrew Jamel, who played in the uh, fan-controlled football league. That's a fun addition for the Guardians. Calvin Turner, the San Antonio Brahmas, by the way. And number 14, uh, XFL, we did their listing of positions. Turner can kind of play running back, receiver, kind of like in that Naheem Hines role. He might get some slot work for them. KD Cannon, the former Baylor wide receiver, to the D.C. Defenders, number 17. Kendrick Rogers, Stephen Gidry out of A&M and Mississippi State from way back when to the Brahmos and the Guardians. Uh, not any major names that I'm super familiar with here. We have not mentioned the Seattle Sea Dragons, though. They take Jawan Green, who has spent some time in the NFL. Deontay Burnett, the former USC and Titans receiver, goes to the Houston Roughnecks at number 25 overall. Then we got to a bit of a run of, oh, that name is familiar. Um... Mateo Durant out of Duke was a UDFA, spent time this year with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Jazz Ferguson, LSU, Northwestern, big, or, or, excuse me, uh, Northeastern State, whatever, which one I'm drawing a blank on. It's the other small school though in Louisiana. Big frame, 6'5", Jazz Ferguson, also an elite name. Briley Moore McKinney was the uh, tight end from Kansas State. Dylan Parham, not that Dylan Parham. That is not Raiders Dylan Parham. That is the former NC State tight end. Three running backs you might have heard of. Matt Jones, who spent some time in the NFL with the now Commanders. Had a fumbling issue and went from being a basically a starter to out of the NFL quickly. He goes to the Vegas Vipers. Brendan Knox goes to the Seattle Sea Dragons. Marshall Products, been done with the Cowboys. Keith Ford, the former Texas A&M running back, goes to the Arlington Renegades. And another running back, Max Borgi, the Houston Roughnecks, number 41 overall. I will make note, by the way, uh, of the 44 rounds today, they're broken up 11 per based on skill positions for offense. Next level was defensive backs, then front seven players, so we'll get to those here in a little bit. And again, we're not going through every single player because that would take us an hour, and no one wants an hour-long video to watch. Damian Willis, uh, 43, sometime in the NFL. Jeff Bidette. Oklahoma, Kentucky receiver to the Vipers. Kalen Balazs, the running back. And producer Jack, Arizona State alum, he loves that one. To the San Antonio Brahmas. Brian Hill, also drafted. Wyoming Falcons. He goes to the St. Louis Battlehawks. Reichwell Armstead at a temple to, to the Jags. To the same thing Brian Hill, by the way. D.C. Defenders. Puka Williams, the running back. He goes to the D.C. Defenders again. Elise Mack, Notre Dame product to San Antonio. And then kind of a lighter run on receivers. Uh, uh, Jontre Kirkland may be a decent name to keep an eye out for. Rashad Davis as well. Alex Ellis, the tight end. Matthew Sexton in Vegas, which I think there are some funny jokes to potentially be made uh, from that standpoint there. We'll get to some more uh, options in terms of the wide receiver room. But first, today's show is made possible by established titles. Today's uh, XFL draft coverage, I guess I'll call it there, is thanks to them. Established out is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. It's a project based on an historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. Title packs, you've at least one square foot of dedicated land with a unique plot number on a private estate 
in Edelston, Scotland, and an official certificate with a crest. They plant a tree with every order and work with global charities One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future to support global reforestation efforts. You can officially include the title Lord or Lady on your credit card, plane tickets, dating profile, etc. It makes a great last minute gift. The first 200 people who purchase a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot within a few minutes of walking distance. So, depending on how many of you want to become a lord or a lady, we can build our own little chat sports kingdom. Makes an amazing last minute gift. Established Shadows is actually running a massive early Black Friday sale right now with discounts up to 80% off. Plus, if you use code CHAT, C-H-A-T, you get an additional 10% off. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash chat to get your gifts now and help support the channel. Links in the comments section and in the description. All right, we left off with Matthew Sexton, number 60. Another elite name, Octavius Miles, goes number 61. Terry Wright. Ethan Wolf, the Saints and former Tennessee Volunteers tight end, he's number 64. Gator great Josh Hammond at number 65. Abdul Adams, my boy Will Scott's guy from Syracuse, the running back to the Battle Hawks at 66. TJ Vasher. At 67, the former Dallas Cowboy, Texas Tech product, he goes to San Antonio. Uh, Dries Roberson spent some brief time in the NFL. DeAndre Torrey's got some fans here at Chat Sports since he went to North Texas. we got a few alums there. And then some more notable names here in round 10. Again, 11 rounds of skill guys only. Dexter Williams, the former Notre Dame running back. Scotty Phillips, the Ole Miss product. Saeed Blacknall, the wide receiver from Vegas. Travis Johnson, some of you might be familiar with that last name there. Kale Waring was an early draft pick of the Houston Texans, I believe it was, a couple years ago. Uh, the earliest draft pick, though, was actually 84. Cody Latimer, the Bronco Giant, Broncos and Giants product out of Indiana, 84th, one of the last picks in the fourth round. You probably heard of Prohl, Austin Prohl. Yeah, Blake Skib. Jalen uh, Reed, the former Oregon Duck, stays nearish by uh, in Seattle at pick number 86. That was it for the skill position options. Let's move in now to the defensive options we'll get to in a little bit here. But first, I do have a, a question to ask you guys before we get to defensive side of the football here. Will you be watching the XFL this year? Why for yes and for no? Let me know in the comments why or and especially if the ad break comes here on YouTube. Head on that pinned comment and let me know. All right, some defensive back options here. And the XFL began with corners and then kind of everyone with as DBs, so... We followed their options there. Luke Barco, time with the Chiefs. Parnell Motley is a very good corner, even for X, especially for X, XFL standards. I love that pick by the DC Defenders. Devontae Bosby, the Arlington Renegades take him. He's bounced around a wide variety of NFL teams. I'm on board with that selection there. Antoine Brooks was Darnell Savage's running mate at Maryland. Now he's a member of the Seattle Sea Dragons at pick number 98 overall. Channing Stribling has been the classic smaller league uh, XFL, USFL, AF player. He constantly gets chances, and I didn't like that pick a lot for the Battle Hawks. Kerry Vincent Jr., 103. He's a speedy but undersized corner. Adam Schefter's favorite player since he always tweeted about him. D. Virgin, number 105. Bubba Bolden. One of the first safeties taken, talented player out of uh, USC and the Miami Hurricanes. He's 106 to San Antonio. Quinton Meeks, who I liked a lot at Stanford, which probably liked him a little bit too much draft-wise for the NFL standards. He goes to the Battle Hawks. Some names you might know. Will Hill, the another Gator great with off-the-field issues. He goes 110. Lyndon Stevens spent a lot of time in Seattle with the Seahawks. Now he goes to the Sea Dragons, who play at the same field. And Maurice Smith, the former Georgia safety, to the Vegas Vipers. Uh, Mr. Harriel is an elite name, by the way, also to the Vegas Vipers. Kentrell Bryce has spent time in the NFL. Corner safety, spent time with the Green Bay Packers. Uh, that's the most notable one for me there at number 117 in round 15. Now, if you're wondering, wait a minute, where are the quarterbacks? We already broke that video down on Tuesday. Ben DiNucci, A.J. McCarron among the more notable quarterbacks taken with all but one team taking two of them. The D.C. defenders only got one. We broke that down. Go check it out, youtube.com, at Chat Sports. Links in the comment section, the description, and make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out on anything here at Chat Sports. Round 16, Antoine Collier, Avery Brook, uh, 
Booker Kern, excuse me, Evan Fields, Joshua Allen. The two names I want to look at here are Shakir Brown, 126 to the Arlington Renegades. He's Michigan State, spends time in the NFL. And Reggie Robinson, who was a Dallas Cowboy fourth-round pick out of Tulsa, got cut, went to the Browns, did not last very long. That's a good name to keep an eye on if he can kind of get his career back on track. Uh, Kevin Tolliver, the cornerback, is a good name to, to keep an eye out for. A little bit of a lanky corner. Has also spent some brief time in the NFL. Terrell Bonds, San Antonio, next up on my list of like guys I've kind of heard of and therefore I think are worth watching from that standpoint. Then things get a little bit trickier as we move further into the defensive backfield where it's just not as many names I'm familiar with. There is an elite name alert, though, coming up. 143, Quinterio Cole. I love that name. I love the spelling. It is absolutely fantastic. There's also Rogesterman Ferris, also going to the Seattle Sea Dragons. And Raheem Moore did spend a little bit of time in some of these NFL, etc. leagues. D'Angelo Ross the, uh, to the uh, Battle Hawks, the cornerback, number 150 overall. Roman Tatum, also kind of an elite name there. Lucas Dennis, I think, is a decent name to watch. I like what the Battle Hawks did on defense in terms of players I've somewhat heard of in the past. Uh, Abru D Darmi Soare, fun name, Arlington Renegades, Kendall Carks. It feels like a good season, like getting rocked by a dude named Kendall Carks just seems right to me. You might have heard the name TJ Green. Also make note, there was someone in our live show who really wanted Adam Sparks. There it is, 161. He goes to Vegas. Uh, TJ Green was the Clemson product, corner, safety, hybrid, can do a bit of both. Curious where he ends up lining up for Arlington. Shaquille Wiggins. Spent some time around these kind of l lesser leagues, but that's a notable name for the Orlando Guardians. Matt Elam, the Gator great, who was a first-round pick. That is the earliest player we've seen here. Of the Baltimore Ravens, but had his own off-the-field issues. Holton Hill, the cornerback of former Texas Longhorn legend. Vikings was really good when he wasn't getting in trouble for drug usage. He goes number 172. Mikhail Wright, the Oregon product, gets to stick around a little bit nearby uh, with the Seattle Sea Dragons as well. The most notable name is coming up next, but first, which XFL team will you guys cheer for? Let me know in the comments section right now. We'll go quick here on some of the defensive line, but Vic Beasley, the first round pick, was the first pick of the fr defensive front seven grouping, Vic Beasley, the Falcon legend who had some great years and some not so great years and mostly not great years. That is, I think, by far the most household name playing now in the XFL. Niles Scott's a decent defensive tackle there. Nick Coe's a good name to keep an eye out for. Auburn product can do some defensive end, defensive tackle stuff. Good name to consider. I like Jared Willis a lot, too. Out of uh, Orlando, the defensive tackle, Miami Hurricane product. Got talent, but never quite figured it all out in the end. Uh, MK Egbule and Andre Mintz were listed at inside linebackers, which they can do some both. So I'm curious that ends up changing for the Battle Hawks and for the D.C. defenders. Uh, Josiah Coatney, the Mississippi boy, he's big run stopper. Like that pick a lot for Arlington. Three more names I like here. Robert Windsor, Penn State product, the Vegas Vipers. Curtis Weaver, who was wildly productive at Boise State, but kind of flamed out in the NFL. Defensive end to Seattle. Arlington also got Will Clark, a former earliest draft pick of the Bengals out of West Virginia along the defensive line. There's a lot of names that I can't pronounce here, so I'm not going to offend anyone by not doing it. We'll continue to kind of move, move along here. Fadol Brown, decent name to consider. I also love Yohana as a name. That's an elite name. There's so many good names that I, I love cheering for those guys in the XFL. XFL. Right on cue. Elijah Qualls, Houston Roughnecks, 205, good run stopper. Austin Folu, the uh, Oregon product, Dallas Cowboy. He goes to Seattle. Peter Tomempinu, I think I got that right. He plays for Vegas, linebacker. That was a guy who spent some time in the NFL. Jordan Evans spent quite a bit of time in the NFL, mostly with the Bengals, linebacker to the Seattle Sea Dragons. I like Anthony Hines. Uh, I liked him coming out of AM this year. I was surprised he went undrafted, and then he got cut quickly by the Cowboys. Finally resurfaces with the D.C. Defenders. Drew Singleton, like that pick a lot for St. Louis. That's a quality linebacker for XFL standards. Chauncey Rivers, Bruce Hector, Trey Walker have all spent some semblance of time around the NFL. They go 221, 222, and 223, respectively. T.J. Dawson was, or P.J. Dawson after D.J. Calhoun, back-to-back -back linebacker picks there by the Las Vegas uh, Vipers. 
Uh, Jamal Brooks, a linebacker to the D.C. Defenders. Prince Emili to the, def the defensive lineman to the San Antonio Brahmas. That could be a fun, intriguing fit there. Uh, Glenn Robinson. I like a lot of what the Battlehawks did on defense. Decent name to keep an eye out for there. Guy from my alma mater, Doug Costin, who was with the Steelers this preseason, started games as UDFA for the Jags a few years ago. He went to Miami of Ohio. He's picked number 238. Then Diego Fago, yes, that is how you pronounce it. The I think it was Navy. I believe that's where he went to school. It was either Navy or Army, and he'd probably be mad at me for not getting it right. Uh, but Diego Fago there at pick number 244. He goes to the Houston Roughnecks, and I believe, i got to double check here that that is, we got a few more coming. I was right, a few more coming here. We'll come back, but first, you're not going to know many of the names left. Who is your favorite XFL draft pick? Let me know in the comment section. I want to go with my own modern DJ Costin or Doug Costin, but uh, I think I, I, I got to go Martavis Bryant. That one's fun for me. Let me know in the comments. And probably Vic Beasley, too. Mike Rose, who I like coming out of Iowa State. He's number 246. Joel Dublanco played for Cincinnati. Not a premier athlete, but a very good tackler. I think he might thrive in the XFL. Jacoby Jones, not that Jacoby Jones, but he's 249 to the Orlando Guardians. Tuzar Skipper at 255 to Seattle. He's bounced around the NFL, a lot of different NFL teams. The Steelers uh, also have had him on their roster. P.J. Hall, the Seattle Sea Dragons, second-round pick uh, by the Raiders when they have not drafted very well. That one didn't quite work out for them. Sam Houston State product. Has never quite capitalized on all of his upside. And the Mr. Irrelevant for our purposes today along the uh, defensive front seven, DeCalem Brooks, FSU linebacker out of or are going to the Orlando Guardians, wraps up the 33 rounds that we know of. The XFL, I will make note, as I sit here filming this, has begun to start the offensive line, but they're not even halfway through. So, you know, we'll check in on that later on. If you haven't already... Please subscribe, folks, youtube.com slash at chat sports. Free videos, NFL, NBA, CFB, and the XFL all right here.